So I'm gonna talk about something that might make you a little uncomfortable, but it's okay, because we ain't about comfort over here. So my husband and I went to a event, I guess you can say, or like a class in church called Elevated Marriage. It was my first time there, it was his second time there. And I look at the topic and I'm like, hmm, what are they gonna talk about today, right? And I look down at the paper and it says sex and marriage. So I was kind of like taken aback by it because I've actually been like in my mind thinking about that a lot only because I look at sex from a negative lens kind of I could say God is healing me from that because of my past and I want to give y'all some revelation that I just got from yesterday so a lot of us grew up being very promiscuous if you did not grow up that way bless you you saved yourself from so much damage but because I grew up like that when I got into a relationship that was actually a real relationship and now my marriage, I realized that because God took away my desire for promiscuity and all that stuff, that I didn't have a desire anymore, even like for my husband. And although my husband and I would have sex, it was like really hard for me. Like I really had to push myself to go there. And it was like an internal battle I fought because I felt so bad. I'm like, am I not attracted to my husband? Like, why don't I want to have sex? Yada, yada, yada. And I would have this conversation with God all the time in my head. I never talked to my husband about it. So yesterday I'm sitting in there and I'm just like, I can't believe God is answering this prayer for me right now. So here was the one that stood out to me the most. In the world, we are taught that sex is better outside of marriage. But in the kingdom of God, and why he tells us to wait, is because sex with your husband, when you become one with them, is actually like the highest form of praise to God. Like our bodies were meant to have sex and meant to be unified with one another in deep intimacy. And this lady told me, she was like, some of you need to forgive yourself for being promiscuous. Some of you need to forgive yourself or forgive the people that have introduced you to perversion and the things that you've seen even like as a child. And that made so much sense to me because think about it, you guys. If we were never meant to have sex outside of marriage, then we wouldn't be having these weird thoughts inside of marriage of, oh, I'm not that person anymore. Oh, I'm not promiscuous anymore. Oh, I'm not this, oh, I'm not that. But it's, that's a lie. You were meant to be hot with your husband or hot with your wife you would have became a freak anyways eventually with your husband or your wife right i don't know man i hope that hit y'all the way it hit me because it made a lot of sense to me it'll only make sense to the people that it's meant for true all i got out of this is that she a selfish woman and she using christianity as a scapegoat right and this crazy thing about it is this, right? She used to be promiscuous and now she wants to be approved, right? She used to be a 304 and now she want to act like a housewife, but even a housewife got to smash her husband. Since she's withholding sex, I feel like the husband should be able to withhold his protection and provisions. Not only that, he should be able to have at least one side piece so that she can pick up the slack where she's leaving it. And honestly, I feel like there's a possibility that there's another man who's getting all of that sexual energy and attention from her. If I was the husband, I would hire a private investigator to follow this woman around because, man, I'm not buying it, bro. Me personally, I'm not buying it. Yeah, let's let's go. Go. Would you give your girlfriend a whole pass for, for one day if it meant you could get one for five You wouldn't. Why not? Why not? Why not? Oh, she said, why not? Do you want one? <laughs> yeah, it's the speech now. Yeah, he's in trouble. Yeah, there's a problem there. What is the most attractive language a man can speak? Money. Raka daka 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 And he's packing up his sh leave. I told you, one more time. We do need you, men, though. We do. We don't need them. We then, do. No, because then lesbians. Who do you call to get your car fixed? A man or a woman? So a man I, or a woman. I fix my own car. I can. I can do. Okay. I'm who, most who, mechanics. Your power. Your power supply. Who runs it? Who runs the infrastructure of society? Men or women? Oh, at the moment, men. Obviously, because yeah. so, of patriarchy. So we, so, cause, cause of, because oh, of patriarchy. Oh, no. oh.
I don't want to live in a world where men don't exist, man. If they put me in this world and there's only females and I'm the only man, okay, cool. I'm going to have my pick of the litter. But at the same time, what's going to get done? I'm going to have to do everything. The plumbing needs fixing. I need to do it. I got to learn how to do roofing. I got to learn how to be an electrician. Women don't know how to do none of this stuff for the most part, man. If you're going to look at the statistics at all of these hard jobs, let's say it's plumbing. Man, I'm pretty sure female plumbers only represent 0.5% of the whole workforce. They ain't out here doing the hard jobs, man. Imagine me. I'm a bad bitch. I'm a bad bitch. I got my fucking life together. I have a house. I Well, not a house, a condo. I bought it myself. I have a dog. I raised her. I pay for her food. I pay for her vet bills. I have a car. I pay for my car insurance. I pay for everything. I pay for my clothes. I pay for gas. I go to work. Well done. Wonderful job that I honestly, truly love. I go to the gym. I work on myself. I work on myself mentally. And you're telling me that at the age of 24, I'm crying over a man when i have everything i need in my life i'm here to tell you right now we don't care what does that have to do with you being someone that a man wants to be with i don't understand that it doesn't equate you get what i'm saying just because you're doing the stuff that a normal functioning adult does doesn't make you special you get what i'm saying men want a certain type of thing and that stuff ain't it we don't care about your house your dog bill and none of that it don't make sense to us all that is is that hey what can i even do for you if your girlfriend wanted to get her nails done do you think you should pay for them her father she should pay for them as a gift i could understand Stand, but would you week on week on end pay for your girl's nails well who's she doing the nails for she's doing the nails for That's you the whole she's not doing it to impress other guys hopefully obviously she should be paying why should she be paying for her nails from her own pocket no fucking way absolutely that is exactly what i told him said that for me personally if a girl expected me to just pay for her nails i personally would find that rude obviously i, I wouldn't I'm, I'm not paying for your nails why should i do that she's not nails. my boy is she she's my girlfriend she's yeah. a woman she's and, providing the most and that's what i mean about it being implicit because i would never allow my girl to come and ask me for money to pay for her nails if my girl tells me oh i have a nail appointment tomorrow i'll say how much is it and i'll give her the cash or give her my card so she can pay for it if it's serious enough i'll just give her a debit or a credit card that she can use to spend on everything i mean i ain't got no problem with you spending money on your girl and she looks nice and stuff like that but bro don't get to the point where she feels entitled or where she feels like you know she's complacent and things of that nature you gotta keep her earning everything that she's uh getting from you or it's like a kid bro if you don't make them earn anything they're gonna drag it through the mud whatever it is I had a girlfriend in high school, her daddy bought her a car. She didn't give a shit about that car. She drugged that car through the mud, man. But guess what? She want to treat the car that she bought with her own money in pristine condition. You got to make them work for it, bro. So you girls know my channels about manipulating men, taking money from them, playing them. And a lot of comments say, do you ever feel bad? Do you ever think that karma's going to get to you? The simple answer is no, I don't care. I don't feel bad at all playing these men no remorse no feelings towards them at all every time i do a guy dirty the only thing that goes through my head is did i elevate am i in a better position than i was yesterday am i happy and if all those answers are yes then i did amazing i could care less about how these guys feel if their heart's broken up on because of me that's something they need to personally deal with that's their fault for getting their hopes up yeah bro this is a narcissist a lot of men are dating these type of women don't even know it you get what i'm saying but guess what bro them actions gonna show it man when you tell her no for the first time she gonna blow up in your face and it happens every single time bro a woman like this cannot be told no and once you tell her no you're gonna see who she really is and once she shows you who she is believe her and then leave her how many bodies does it take to become a hoe after three, that's when you starting to wild out a little bit. Yeah, shit getting loose. That's not ridiculous. That's not ridiculous to say that. What is you guys' body counts? Nine, Nine ten, ten. Three. Drew. Whoa. Dixon. You know it's not three. It's not three. How much is it? It's like 11, 12. 11, 12? Yeah, she's lying. Most question. What's your body count? It's three. Oh, it is? That's dope. That's two, dope. Two. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, it's two? Two, two, two. Okay, but that, Man, you know what I just got out of this? Most women don't even remember how many guys they slept with. That's what I just got out of this because they give it away so frivolously and they give it away all willy nilly. They don't even remember who they gave it to. You know what I'm saying? And I don't care what nobody says, man. I think the average woman has more bodies than the average man because guess what? The average man, let's say he's a five on a scale of one to ten, he ain't getting a lot of women. But a lot of you guys will smash a five. And that's why they have more bodies than the average guy. Desperate men are sleeping with these fives, fours, and threes. I'll be like, she has a high body count. What the f does that matter? At this point, how do you know? She could have got like she could have had a high body count from high school. Like maybe yeah. she was going through something in high school and yeah. she was came out of high school with like 20 bodies already. Yeah. Well, if I had 
So 200 people, what would you think? 200 is a lot. I would, like, I would ask if you were okay. But it's and like 2022. To to therapy. Not say that I agree with this one. When I, we, get paid, I will spend as much money as I want because it's our money and he decides to marry me. And I do everything that he wants, like I'll cook and clean and stuff like that. And when he makes money, I'm going to spend it. And that's just what marriage is. Like, you don't have to get married. As soon as we became one, whatever is his is also mine. So... I pretty much live my life as I please, and that's just the way it is. Like, I don't know what else to tell you. Hey, man, if he like it, I love it. As long as she doing everything she's supposed to do, holding up her end of the bargain, I ain't got no problem with it. I just hope he got a prenup. That's it.